हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ मनप्रीत फ्रॉम अ नर्सिंग स्कूप सो मोस्ट वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द एम ऑन टॉपिक पार्किसन डिजीज सो डू वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब येट एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो डैट यू रिसीव ऑल लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मोर टाइम लेट स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ टू डेज वीडियो क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन A client is diagnosed with Parkinson's disease and asks the nurse about disease pathology. What should be the nurse response? Option A is demyelination of neurons. Option B is degeneration of neurons of basal ganglia. Option C is destruction of acetylcholine receptors at postsynaptic site. And option D is both A and B. So guess the correct option. So here the right answer is option B. So my option B is correct. Here is a rational. This Parkinson disease is a degenerative disease caused by depletion of dopamine producing neurons in a substantia nigra, which is a structure of the basal ganglia. So the deficiency of dopamine leads to the development of Parkinson disease. And demyelination of neurons means there is a destruction of the myelin sheath in a neuron. So it is associated with the multiple sclerosis. and uh, destruction of acetylcholine receptors is associated with the myasthenia gravis so correct option is b so test taking strategy so just review the etiology of all important neuro disorders will help you in selecting the correct option so moving to our next question a clinical nurse is educating the group of students about onset of symptoms of parkinson disease So, what should nurse expect from a client to report about onset of the symptoms? So, these are the options. Option A is abrupt onset. Option B is gradual onset. Option C is symptoms appear over a week. And option D is there is no specified pattern. So, guess the correct option. So, here the right answer is B. so let's have a look on rational part so the onset of disease is gradual it is a insidious onset not abrupt or sudden onset so insidious onset means disease comes slowly and patient is not aware of the disease so in the parkinson disease the first sign is a tremor then the second sign appear is a rigidity and the third sign is the bradykinesia and patient is suffering from so many non motor symptoms as shown in a figure so the test taking strategy to solve this question recall the parkinson disease has an insidious nature of onset means it is a gradual onset so this will direct you to correct option b so moving to our next question question number 23 a client is admitted to the hospital with diagnosis of parkinson disease for which clinical findings should nurse assess the client select all that apply these are the options option a is resting tremors option b is intentional tremors option c is rigidity option d is tonic clonic seizures and option e is bradykinesia so guess the correct option so the correct options are a c and e so now moving to the rational part so the resting tremors rigidity and bradykinesia these three are the classical motor symptoms of a parkinson disease and the resting tremors occur when the hands are resting on a lap so when the muscles are relaxed the tremors will produced so test taking strategy to solve this question so just review the sign and symptoms of a disease so this will help you in selecting the correct options So now moving to our next question question number 24 a nurse administers the levodopa to a patient with parkinson disease for which clinical action should nurse expect the medication to produce these are the options option a is increase in acetylcholine production option b is activation of dopaminergic receptors option c is improvement in myelination of neurons and option d is increases dopamine availability so guess the correct option So here the right answer is D. So why option D is correct? Here is the rational. 
this levodopa is a precursor of dopamine and levodopa when it is metabolized in our body it is converted into dopamine in our brain cell so where it is stored until needed by the axon terminals so this levodopa increases the availability of dopamine so test taking strategy so just review the mechanism of action of levodopa this will help you in selecting the correct option d So finally moving to the last question of our today's video question number 25 the client is receiving anti parkinson medication so now should instruct the client to avoid which food option a is vitamin b6 rich food option b is vitamin c option c is vitamin e rich food and option d is vitamin a rich food so guess the correct option so the right answer is option a So now moving to the rational part instruct the client to avoid the foods high in vitamin b6 as vitamin b6 block the effect of anti parkinson medications so other options are just distractors so test taking strategy so reviewing the interaction of medications with other drugs and foods will help you in selecting the correct option a Okay so that's all about the today's questions if you really enjoy the content then please press the like and share button and don't forget to put your feedback in a comment section so we'll see you in next video with some new topic so till that time stay tuned stay safe thank you